So this is the report of the Deputy Commissioner of Chittagong Health Track. In spite of correct attitude of Pakistan, central government, there have been fairly reliable reports that there are local officials in. For instance, Cox Bazaar have actively helped the Muslim guerrillas. You yourselves are well aware of the pro guerrilla attitude in this affair of Pakistan district offices. The Pakistan government must also be aware of it. And we feel that if they do not cut these officials, they may run the risk of provoking anti-Muslim riots in Akib district as bad as those which occurred during the war. This is the confidential letter of the British High Commissioner in Rawal Pandi in Pakistan to the Commonwealth Relational Office. According to the British archival law, after 30 years they were in the archives. Last year I copied these sources. <coughs> these sources. The Pakistan government is anxious that these organized Muslims should be goaded into leaving Burma and taking refuge in East Pakistan, which cannot support them. Mr. Budu, that's uh, Mr. Ali Budu, who was executed, and his daughter became prime minister later, and she was also executed. Mr. Ali Budu was the foreign minister in those days, and he came, he came to Burma, Burma, Myanmar and talk with the Burmese government. <clears throat> Budo therefore urged the Burmese to modify their attitude towards these people and offered the maximum cooperation in dealing with any genuine illegal immigrants. Here also it was written illegal immigrants. Not this report was not written by a Burmese officer. It was written a report of the high co British High Commissioner in Pakistan. Then Bangladesh gained independence in 1971. So Bangladesh ambassador, Mr. Ali Kaiser in Yango, what is now Yango, admitted that there were upwards of a half million Bengali trespassers in Arrogan, whom the Burmese had some right to eject. He had implored the Burmese authorities not to address this issue during Bangladesh's present trouble. and had been pleased that Burmese had not taken advantage of this country's misfortune. Misfortune means the, the father of Bangladesh, Bangladesh was assassinated in, I think, in 1975. So Mr. Kaiser admitted there were half million illegal immigrants in 1975. So, the illegal immigration was going on and on. Now we don't have any statistic to, to discuss about that matter. Okay. Now, Mujahid surrendered in 1960. But in 1970, again, some new, gen new generations, people of new generation, educated, like Mr. Nuri Islam, who is living in London. He was my friend, 
my classmate at Rangoon University. He formed A R N O, Arkan Rohingya National Organization. His headquarters was in Cox's Bazaar. And Mr. Yunos or Dr. Yunos, who was a medical doctor, he also formed RSO, Rohingya Solidarity Organization. Uh, a friend of mine from Australia uh, asked an, a, que a question about his book. He also wrote a history book. <coughs> so, <coughs> In Bangladesh, oh, you know that there are Awami League and the BNP, Bangladesh National Party. BNP is closely related to with Huji, the Karat Islamic. The is Muslim extremists who have clearly contacts with the terrorist movement in the Middle East. The, both RSO and ARNO were raising funds for the Jihad Holy War in Erika, in Middle East. This is, I don't know read Arabic, but I know someone who can read Arabic here who wants to challenge me for a debate. He can reach this altar pen. They are pamphlets distributed in Dubai and Saudi Arabia for the fun to fight in Erica, to fight a holy war in Erica. Can you form a here, this is the the, uh, the newspaper cut. That's the advertisement written in Urdu, and it's written. I can read Urdu either, but I asked somebody to read for me, and he said that's about the tragedy in of the Muslim people in Erica and just for the revolution and our holy war and they can send donation they can deposit money in bank so and so bank account this i cycle here this is the bank account account number a bank in chittagong and another bank in dhaka uh, i have already i have the English version. If you want to donate to these people, I can give you their bank account. <laughs> well, this is also what they they are propaganda. Okay. Actually, actually, this is not mine. <clears throat> but Doctor Yin Wen. Who was my? Uh, who was also a, a speaker with, together with me in the forum in Rangoon when the Professor Jack, Jack Leiter was giving speech at Illinois. This is the population of the Buddha. Yes, uh, Mount Lord. The Raj is a Muslim, uh, Bengali, and the Blue. Only four percent are high, and the hill tribes and other only two percent. Another one, please. This is Budidam. Rakhine population in Budidam is a little bit larger, but to Muslims here, as you see, eighty-four percent. Rakhine nine percent, and hill tribes and others seven percent. So most of the newspaper in Bangladesh and Pakistan and Muslim war denounce British government 
for the religious persecution on the minority Muslim. Here you can see who are Mus who are majority and who are minority. It is very sure. This is Palto. In Palto, Rakhine are majority. Bengali are minority. Only 15.89 persons. So in that area, last year, June, there was some, yes, some bloodshed and some uh, killings. <coughs> Some Muslims were killed, also Buddhists were also killed. Our kinds were also killed. Okay. This is the Yambia. Yambia is the, the Rakhine are majority. And Muslim. These people, we have to categorize. The Muslims of the Yambia island. The people who call themselves Kaman where the former, the, the descendants of the Muslim inhabitants in the Mrao period, what these two learned men had already explained to you. And this command, they did not want, they don't want themselves to be called Bengali or Rohingya. Okay, I will tell you, the derivation of the uh, Rohingya. Actually, it, there was no such an ethnic identity in history. <coughs> in 1951, Mr. Abdul Ghaffar from Budidang constituency, he wrote an article. The title was Sudan Muslims. <coughs> He began to use that and he wrote that well, those Muslims were not Bengali. They were the descendants of the Arab sailors who decided to live in Arakan after the shipwreck. So I I cannot read the Arab Arabic, but Arabic soldiers were translated into English. So I looked for the Arabic in the Arabic soldiers about Arabic, how the Arab no, knew about Arabic. Only two navigators, Ibn Majid and Suleiman, left sharp notes on Arabic. That's that they call Rahang. Rahang is that's the Arabic corruption of Rakhine. It's very clear. And here, this is what uh, Professor Ben Galden uh, mentioned the Bengali poet in Japan, Allah's poem. You know, the people, the foreigners living in Arakan in the Mrao period. Okay, let's read. Thus we see people from every country hearing the magnificence of Roshan. Roshan is Arakan. It's a Bengali corruption of Arakan. Will you go to the first uh, form page, please? This is the poem of Dula Khazi, in his book Saki Mena, to the east of River Kanafuli, there is a place, Roshan City by name, like the heaven. There rules the glorious king of Magadha descent and follower of the Buddha. So, already two professors explain you about the uh, about that matter whether there was there were some Muslim rulers in the kingdom of America 
So here it's very short. It was the poem of a Bengali a Muslim. And Professor Jack Lider has already written an article. Um, you can read it in <clears throat> on the internet now. I think Buddhist, Arcanist, uh, Buddhist kings with uh, Arcanist kings with Buddhist uh, Muslim. Buddhist kings. Yeah. Yes. Buddhist kings with Muslim name, Muslim titles. So please, you can read. It's very sure. You know, Rohingya. Rohingya, there was no ethnic city, such ethnic city in Arakan in the whole day. It is an open challenge from a time. I tell it to everybody. If somebody wants to argue with me, I'm ready. But I must see his level, intelligent level, and I can make better. Okay, please go ahead. This is the people living in Mralu. You know, thus we see people from every country hearing the magnificence of Roshan, Rakhine, took shelter under the king, Arabian Egyptian Michiri, Turkish Shami, Hapsi, I don't know, maybe African, Hindi Kamapuri, that's from the Assamese. <clears throat> Uh, Dakini, maybe from the Hindu from Dakin. Ahopai Kotanchari, we, we can identify that. Kalani, I don't know that also too. Malaya, some Malays were there. Malibari from Aceh. Kuchi, Kochin. Kamatana, okay. <clears throat> I'm just shake. I, I don't have time to read all these, you know. So from also Rajaput and the Hindus, Hindus Avai Ava, there's a Burmese serving the in the service of the Arcanist kings and Siam. Even the Thai people were living in in Arca. Tripura, Kuki, the Chins. So, so, you know, uh, also the uh, people fr from the countries of these two scholars, uh, the French and Dutch, were also living in Maryland. So, where can you find Rohingya in in the in this source material? It is written by Alal, very famous Bengali poet. Okay. Now I am going to conclude. This is map of the northern area. It's Cox's. I did field work in this area. The Cox Bazaar was actually given by the British colonialists. There was no Bengali name. The original name of Cox Bazaar is, you all know that, Palanche. What does it mean? Our Chinese people call the Europeans Falang. Our Chinese king granted the lands to the Portuguese in that area. That's why Czech is French, and Palau means European, okay? And on the border, on, on the North River, on the west bank of the North River, there were many Arcanist villages, even, I don't know, the name of the town name Ukia, was Bengali. I'm not sure that. I know some Bengali. And <clears throat> for example, Taknaf. Taknaf was Kyu Chang. Kyu Chang, as you all know, Kyu is oyster, Chang is river. 
the rim of where the oyster were fished. And then uh, many, you know, I have already forgotten the many towns in Hurricane's name. And uh, what about the other sites of the Naf River in this area? What they claim as Muslim area? All the village names of the villages, villages are purely Rakhine name and Burmese name. Okay, I'll give you what I remember from the Mayo River, from the upstream, upper reaches of the Mayo River to the down to the mouth of the river. Jemazi, Yamazi, okay, Atajanda, Atajanda, no, Flinora, Flinoya, Zedida, okay, please, please, okay, it's, it's better to get it, you know, to cooperate. <coughs> and how about Nerago, Nayago, and uh, uh, we, are, we are coming down, uh, Puengai, <coughs> then Flingdao, Ranyudao, Nyangchao, Konyoli, or can you stay? You know, only one village on the east bank of the Mayu River. It was, uh, it was. Actually, it appeared after the independence. So the Muslim name, Washila. I know only that village. So it is purely inhabited by the Arakan Beninese or Rakhine people. And later, it was the Rakhine were ousted by the illegal Bengali immigrants. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. First question is population change in Rakhine State and Chitgong area in the last 60 years. Last 60 years mean uh, from 1950 or so. So I am sure, I honestly, I have to admit that I have no statistics about the. Uh, <coughs> the Chittagon district population. But there, there was an increase of the Bengali after the independence and the first census was taken in 1973, I think. That time, these people were illegal immigrants from Bengali. They were categorized as Bangladeshi. Um, yes, Bangladeshi. And we don't know how the source material also mentioned that there were half million Bengali immigrants from illegal immigrants in that area. About another question is, Dr. Yunus Muslim's version of Arakanese history. Dr. Inos you know, so was an, actually is actually a medical doctor. I also read his book, and I think he was, you know, just as fabricated, fabricated sources, especially you know, just making some Bengali words. And one thing I want to say is. Um, we should have it by Pamela Goodman here, actually. Uh, but <clears throat> the, before the 10th century, the inscription found in Arakan was all written in Sanskrit. So Sanskrit belonged to Indo Aryan language. Bengali languages are also. Also, Bengali language also belongs to indo aryan family. So, there was some 
some words, Indo-Iranian words, found in this inscription. It's naturally, we cannot deny that. But we cannot say for these inscriptions, and since such piece inscription were found in Ergen, that's why they, they were Muslim. It's totally wrong. Oh, the Pamela Goodman was, <coughs> Pamela Goodman is uh, a scholar, art historian from Australian National University, and she also wrote her dissertation on Uwezali and Dinyawi, and she also wrote about the Buddhism and Buddhist art and architecture. It's purely Buddhist Kenya. It cannot be denied. This question, this question is from Ashin Panita, student of ABC. Okay. Ebek. I'm sorry. <laughs> the Ebek is a university. It is concerned with Bengali color by its name. I have never seen this river called I never came across the color this time Kaladan Ye Kaladan River in the classical arcanic literature. Have you ever found that? Of course. In which we uh, Arcanis Arcanis call Gaspanadi. I think Kaladan is in later you know later they call that maybe. Uh, I found yeah also in in, in the Chronicles. I don't know whether the the Kaladan derived from Bali word Kula or mankind. Uh, but I'm not sure. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, actual classical name is Gispanadi. So another thing I can say is um, in 17, 1722, I think, there was a rebellion, uh, a revolt by the Mon people and some Muslims living in Akeb Island. So they were defeated after passing the Uri town, Pagoda. And some people say it's, you know, actually it's not, there's no historical source material, but some people say that the Arcanist army defeated these Muslims and Mons there. That's why Galatek or stopping the class advance. That's why it's called Galatek. I don't know whether it's true or not. When did the word Rohingya was again? And who and how the word itself has been emerged? Please, um, uh, I've already explained. You know, the the Rohingya was only invented in 1951 by Mr. Abdul Kafar. The M an MP from Buddhism of CTSC. Actually, he took that name, Rohan or Roshan. That was, the, which was the town of the Bengalis, Bengali town to call Arakan. So I've already mentioned that. And I think this is enough. In 1951, it was invented by Mr. Gaffar. Michael Bushana also called, also wrote that the Bengali people called Arkan 
Rohan or Rohan. Okay. And the Arcanist people, Rohanga or Rohanga. Okay. So that is not the name of the late comers or illegal immigrants Bengalis. Okay? And